The VHS look is something that editors always use to make their footage just stand out and look really, really nice. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create it. My name's Dan, and you're watching Dan Vinci! <laughs> All right then, let's create the effect. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 19, and I have this very simple shot, drone shot of some cliffs that I shot in Wales. Those are Wales, sir. Now that I've graded this, you might notice this looks horrific, and that is on purpose. Basically, this is a bit of a recommendation before we actually start layering on the effect. Just maybe bump up the saturation. I find that when I look at old stuff, especially VHS footage, it all just tends to be oversaturated and slightly more contrasty. So just adding a bit of saturation just makes it a bit more real. Jump into the effects tab in the top left corner right here. We're in the effects tab. Then go into search and we want to search analog. Why, why have I forgotten how to spell analog? So this is analog damage and this is what you want. You can drag it over, big play. There you go. You're done. Yes, there is actually far more to this. So in the inspector tab in the top right corner, this little boy here right there, look at him. If you click on this, it'll open the inspector tab. And then, yeah, this will open up all of the controls for the effect applied. I'm opening all of them. Don't ask me why. I don't know. There are presets. And if you're in a rush, you can just click the presets. And that's what I usually do. I know, I know, I'm a lazy editor. What can I say? Now, the best thing that you can do to add to this is sound. So if you're just doing the presets, that's fine. But I stress you should add sound effects. Adding that little like fuzzy noise, Static noise, that's the word, static noise. <laughs> that grounds the footage in reality. It makes it feel real, like it's actually old, static, analog damaged VHS footage. I forgot what this video was about. Well done. Okay, so the first tab is Telecine Source, which kind of sounds like something you'd find in your grandma's fridge. Yes. Basically what this tab is, like vignette controls, and if you don't know what a vignette is, sort of like shadows in the corners of your frame. Then obviously it's quite simple. The next tab, Broadcast Signal, that'll be just noise and interference. Then the colour dials, spelled incorrectly because it's American. <laughs> The colour dials are just colour controls, brightness, contrast, that kind of thing. And then scan, I think personally, is the most effective tab really within this whole analog damage effect because it has a very particular control called, I think it's V-hold? Yeah, it's V-hold. And you can actually animate this to have that like flickering roll effect that you get. Then we have scan lines, which as you can see over here, if you increase them, it's sort of like a representation of the three RGB basically colours that you'd see on a normal normal analog display. My favourite, absolute favourite bit of this entire effect is this actual like bottom tab, best till last as always, the VHS tab. And here you can just really adjust the distortion of your actual shot. Because a lot of the time some of these old cameras would just shoot things and there would just be a load of distortion at the bottom of the frame. Now to really, really sell this, what you can also do is add like a camera shake onto it. So what I'd recommend is you go into the effects tab again, search adjust, create an adjustment clip, then find a particular point where you want that you know shake to happen and you just search camera shake in the open effects tab here camera shake drag it onto the effects tab drag it onto the adjustment tab i mean adjustment clip why can't you just say it and then go into the inspector tab again and you'll see camera shake and what you can do is just adjust the actual like shake as well it creates this like flicker as well that is just a little thing that i like to you know add along with analog and electronic buzz glitch sounds it really really sells it what is next before i wrap up this video you can also add this analog damage effect to an adjustment clip. So the advantage of this is that you could drag this adjustment clip over all your shots and they would automatically have the exact same effect across multiple shots instead of you constantly reapplying it or copying and pasting the attributes across multiple clips. Now that is the end of the video. It's been a very short DaVinci video. I wanted to try something a bit shorter, a bit more simple and see how it performs. So do let me know if you like it. Also, I put out a poll of whether I look like Finza or not. I've ended the debate. Here's the poll. There's the statistic. I do not look like him. I may act like him, but I swear I'm not related to him at all. Anyway, guys, my name's Dan. You've watched Dan Vichy, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you like the new set. Well, camera angle. Lego. Straight.